Hello, Kim Humphreys. This is Rich Rosenblum, your Garrison Fitness Coordinator. I'm back again to talk about another exercise to help improve your overall fitness. Today, we're going to, going to be reviewing an exercise to help improve your lower body power. Now, power is a very important component of fitness. The more power you have in your lower body, the faster you're going to be, less contact time with the ground, you're going to run faster, jump higher, decrease your risk for injury. Today's exercise is called the box jump. Now there's lots of controversy about how this exercise is performed. I want to clear up all that controversy with impeccable technique. Before we start any type of plyometric exercise, it's important to have a significant level of lower body strength. So you should not do any intense jumping before you can do at least your body weight on a back squat or at least 80% of your body weight on a front squat. So before I do any type of plyometric exercise, I ensure that all my clients have a sufficient level of strength. The first progression for beginning the box jump is called a depth drop. And K will demonstrate the depth drop. The goal here is to absorb force. If we absorb force in, the, uh, in correct technique, we will improve our landing mechanics and absorbing force will decrease our risk for injury. So we will step up off the box in a perfect quarter squat position. Sitting back, heels solid, good. Knees back, knees not going in front of the toes. That's excellent, let's do another depth drop. Again, goal is just prepping ourselves for the box jump. And off the box, land quiet. Very important, you land quiet on that exercise. So that is phase one. Once your athletes, your clients can master dropping off the box at various heights, you move on to the next progression, which is the standard box jump. Again, the goal here is to jump as high as you can, get full extension of your ankles, knees, and hips. One of the most important concepts of power development is triple extension, ankle, knees, and hips. So our starting position, our arms will be up above our head. On our tippy toes, we're gonna load the hips. Let's see that load position. And when we jump, we're going to land nice and quiet on that box. And let's reset, nice and tall. Jump, land quiet, reset, and step backwards. And just step backwards, and just step backwards. I see lots of people doing this exercise for multiple reps, 20, 30 reps. The point of this is to build power. You don't develop power in high volume. If you're doing your box jump, go high, go accurately, land quiet for under six reps. That's all you need to do. Be as powerful as you can. Let's see a couple more reps. Arms up top. Tippy toes, load, land quiet, stand up, step back down. Make sure a couple things we don't want to see happen is when you load your hips, your knees should not cave in. When you land in the box, you should not be landing on your tippy toes. Let's see it. a couple more reps. Up top, load, land quiet, stand up, step down. And let's put it all together. Let's do the ultimate progression where we jump and then we land. Top, load. Jump, stand up, and drop quiet. Good. There are many progressions that you can do. That's one slightly more advanced progression. Excellent job. Thank you for watching my video. Again, my name is Rich Rosenblum. If you have any questions about plyometrics or anything related to your health and fitness, come by the Fitness Annex. We're open Monday through Friday, 0530 to 2000 hours. What's the world gonna throw, bro? Don't know what, so what? I'm just here to shake you, yo. What's up, homes grow up, yo? Back, back in the